Hi, I'm in my studio and I've just finished the class, abstract art class in person for today. And I thought I would share with you um, some of what uh, we discussed today in, 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 in the lesson about the steps. And I also asked for questions last week and a lot of you sent in so many amazing questions, which I will get to over time. But there was this underlying theme of what is the process? What are the steps? How do I get from a blank piece of paper to a finished piece of artwork? So um, I've broken it down into seven steps and I'm going to share the first three with you here because otherwise it'll take a little bit too much time, but I'll go through the first three steps that I teach when I'm um, when I have a class in front of me. And it can be artists that have been doing this for a while. Um, it might be somebody that's crossing over from realistic um, paintings to realism to abstract, or someone who painted when they were a kid and just wants to get back into their creativity. There's all different stages, and it doesn't really matter. I think that there is some ways that you can go about approaching a blank piece of paper or a blank canvas that can really help um, get to know what your style is, get to know yourself better. Um, and I think that's the beauty of abstract expressionism is ultimately the better you know yourself, the better your work is, the more it speaks to who you are. So the first thing is play. It is simply letting go. I, You may have seen from my videos, I don't really think about the end product. Um, it's simply about starting, putting something on the paper that I love. I start with a color I love, or I start with a pencil because it gives me the ability to just be very free. I would just go with what attracts you, what um, things you have at home that you could put um, marks on paper with. Get out your brushes, get out um um, all sorts of things, things that you don't know. Oh, what sort of mark would that make? Um, I've used a corn cob before to roll paint onto the canvas. The beautiful thing about the first stage is that you cannot go wrong. It's simply about experimentation. I mean, it's like that in all the process, but particularly the first part, you can just get bright pink and go all over the canvas with it just to give you something to respond to. Again, and you'll hear me say it again and again and again, we're not thinking about the final product. We're thinking about what is our next step. The second one for me, I've spoken about it before, but it's the thing that shifted my artwork along the most, and that's consistency. Uh, you know, you can't be thinking that you're going to go to a four-week art course and you're going to be a accomplished abstract artist at the end of four weeks. What I can give you is practices to keep going with. And the more that you keep going with them, the better you'll get. I guarantee that. So the more you step up, the more you show up and the more you put in every day or every week, it's about being consistent. Um, so that's, that's a biggie. Practice, 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 do the work. That's number two. Number three, after you've played and you've got your first layer on there, there's going to be now this push and pull, this backwards and forwards. Your artwork is going to go through ugly phases. It's important. It's kind of like uh, the you, you never know what um, joy is unless you've also experienced something that wasn't joyful. Those moments actually create um, who you are. If everything in life was just at one pace, um, then it wouldn't have the same depth, the same meaning. And we want that in our artwork as well. We want the ugly as well as the beauty. Um, it has to have both. But there are going to be times where you go, oh, I've done too much. I've made too many marks. I've made mud on the canvas. I've um, all kinds of things. And the worst thing you can do is just go over it in white or over it in a blanket color because that would erase all that history that can be the bits that um, are the magic in the final product. So we're going to find ways to work with um, the ugly stages without getting too panicky without wanting to cover them. Um, I see it all the time that when there's ugly bits on a painting, 
there is this discomfort it creates. And um, the first thing you want to do is just get rid of it, but it ain't always the best answer. So with that, there is this push and pull. And with that also comes this place of, can I let go of outcome? Uh, it's, it, it's something that I do almost until the end moment. I just want to respond to what's next. I just want to respond to what's in front of me now. Um, at this stage too, you know, when you're putting marks onto a page, there is this question of um, how do I know what to do next? How does it stop being just stop feeling like I'm just pushing paint around on the canvas? And that's where knowing yourself comes into it. So it's what you're doing when you're not painting that's really going to help here because you need inspiration. So get out of the house, get out of the office, wherever you're spending your time, walk in nature, notice what you notice, uh, notice what pulls your eye, um, start looking at the world through different eyes. Um, I love it when I see grungy stuff on the street, but it's next to something that's really beautiful. Um, I don't think that nature, um, that we can create anything as beautiful as what nature does. It is what lights me up. So I'm constantly looking at the most amazing um, trees and leaves and flowers that really lights me up. So I know that that's something I bring back into the studio. Notice what you notice, notice what lights you up, because this will help you when you are just feeling like you're putting paint onto um, the canvas and pushing it around. Some of that stuff will start um, coming into your work. And that's where you want, um, that's where you will start uh, developing your own style, but it only comes by doing number two, which is consistently showing up, consistently putting some paint or some marks onto paper. So there's the first three. Um, I will be answering more questions, but please sign up through my bio. If you're interested in seeing my painting process, if you're interested in my upcoming online abstract art course, please sign up. Just put into the um, subject matter what you're interested in, if it is online abstract um, or if it's seeing my process or both. Uh, I'm going to be doing the online class live. I am thinking I might get a couple of students in here so you can see the steps, but I really love the feeling that you get out of um, having students and having you there um, so that I can interact with you. So please sign up. Um, it will be coming. It's still, um, I'm still forming it, uh, but I'd love to have you on board. See you.